tourism sector must pri be price sensitive and better marketed if it is to compete on a global stage. These were sentiments from tourism players from Mombasa who lashed out at the Kenya Tourism Board for not having an aggressive plan to better market the country. Francis Mtalaki kicks off our bulletin. <laughs> Early Wednesday morning, a plane carrying more than 250 tourists from Italy touched down at the Mo International Airport here in Mombasa, symbolic of Kenya's position as a key travel destination, even as the world over celebrated World Tourism Day. Uh, very, very good, very nice. Uh, stay here with you. With you. Although the sector is yet to fully recover, continued arrivals is sure sign of resilience. Despite the fever pitch political cloud hovering over the country, industry players are now calling on the political class to tone it down. We have had uh, a slight shock, I can say, uh, of about 20%. If you compare the, the, the occupancies and the revenues for the same period last, year, last three years, we can't compare with this year. We are falling short from the month of July up to now by around 20%. With tourism contributing over 10% of the country's GDP, new frontiers of the sector such as conferencing and adventure tourism being developed, Kenya could be on the recovery path. However, this can only be achieved through aggressive and strategic marketing by Kenya Tourism Board. I have uh, been I'm on record as saying that KTB is not doing enough, uh, especially uh, on the local market. Uh, the sensitization that we started in uh, very much in 2013 has fizzled out. Other countries such as South Africa and Zanzibar are among the biggest competitors to Kenya. The other's task will now be on how the country positions her products to the potential tourists. The international market, we've made a raft of uh, other strategies and uh, we are trying to uh, address the new markets, China, for example. We are trying to work with the outbound uh, travel agencies from those uh, countries. Currently, most hotels are recording 50 to 70 percent of bookings and industry players are focused in maximizing on December holidays for the domestic market if 2017 will be a good year for the tourism sector. Francis Mtalaki, KT News, Mombasa.